call me Teacher VZ for short. I'm telling this because this is my first video for this channel. Alright, so let's get started. Our today's topic is the origin of language. Keep watching because at the end of this, I'm going to give you the references on where I got these concepts. Alright, so today we're going to have the two main hypotheses related to the origin of language. So one is belief in divine creation and then the other one is natural evolution hypothesis. By the way, I also have the PowerPoint presentations which have voiceover so that you could just listen to it. I know that nowadays it's really hard to just look at a video and be affected by this ultraviolet rays. So that's it. Alright, so let's have a first one. Belief in divine creation. Okay, so when we say belief in divine creation, it's related to biblical concepts. So it has something to do with the God, our creator, and you know, our belief to him. Okay, so where do we get this uh, evidence that support uh, this uh, statement? Okay, so we could find it on Genesis 2 verse 20. So I'm going to read this to you from the New King James Version. So Adam gave names to all the cattle, to the birds of the air, and to every breast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper comparable to him. All right, so if you were going to analyze this, Adam gave names. Of course, if you were a person and you're going to give names, you already have the language. It means that there, there is this one language that you're using for communication. And here, of course, Adam was the first person. Definitely, on that time, we could already conceptualize that God has given him this gift. Okay? All right. Now, for natural evolution hypothesis, we have two concepts that will support this one. One is Noam Chomsky's language acquisition device, and then the other one is the concepts about Homo sapiens. So let's, all right, so let's have Noam Chomsky's language acquisition device, or LAG for short. This one is very famous, especially if you're an English major student or an English teacher, because this one tells us that it is a hypothetical module of the human mind positioned to account for children's innate innate predisposition for language acquisition so when we say innate there is part of our brain that is responsible for the generation of our language it's like there is this tool in our body specifically on our brain that will be used in order for us to learn the language now also have the concepts about homo sapiens yes you heard it right uh, homo sapiens uh, i know that you are familiar with this one too because uh, homo sapiens has something to do with uh, charles darwin's evolution theory okay so let's get further according to the natural evolution hypothesis as soon as humans developed the biological or neurological capacity for creative language the cultural development of some specific system of forms with meanings would have been an inevitable next step so this is saying that where humans exist, language exists. Of course, in order for us to communicate with each other, in order for us to express ourselves, in order for us to uh, say our problems and uh, ask for solutions, we must learn how to communicate. We humans must communicate. And that will be through language. All right, so what are the other concepts related to this one? Archaeological evidence on Earth thus far seems to indicate that modern humans, Homo sapiens, emerged within the last 150,000 years. Okay, so if Homo sapiens emerged within the last 150,000 years, and we are saying that 
that where humans exist, language exists. Therefore, this language existed a long time ago. So this was last 150,000 years. But take note, these are modern humans. Modern humans, homo sapiens. So it means that there are humans before them. So it's later than 150,000 years. Okay, this one is a short video because I'm going to make another video that is related to the invention of the language. Okay, so keep watching and please subscribe on my channel so you could have continuous information on this specialization or field. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, I made this video because of my students. I love them for their BS and English section A and B. So I hope you appreciate them. My students, please subscribe and like my video. Thank you so much. Bye.